Okay, so I'm going to do my eye. I'm actually going to do a smoky eye today. I'm headed to the radio station to do a commercial. So, of course, I want to wow those people. You know I do. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm going to do one eye for you. I'm going to put the snow. Now, I want you to look at the difference in my two eyes, okay? So, the snow, the cream to powder eyeshadows have skincare in them, so they renew your cells. They stay on all day. You can't budge or smudge them. You cannot budge or smudge them. Did you hear what I said? You cannot budge or smudge it. It's awesome. Okay, I'm going to take and do Ebony Essence, which is a... Okay, the first one was Snow. This is the way the eyeshadows come in these tubes. It's a Shadow Sense cream to powder. So the Snow is white, okay? Now, this one is called Ebony Essence. And it is a blackish gray. has lots of pigment in this. So if you'll watch there what I'm going to do, put a little bit right there. And when I say a little bit, I mean a little bit. That's, that's really a lot right there. So if you'll watch, you'll see that I am not joking about it being a lot. You take a brush, take this out, how, how far this goes. Now, I do lift my eyebrow because I want to get that great crease right there. Okay, now I can take the other end of this other brush, smooth it in, just like that. And, let's see. I'm actually looking, this is weird, because I'm not looking in a mirror, I'm looking in my iPad. Okay, and that looks great. So I'll take and wipe the brush off. Use a paper towel to do that because you don't want to get makeup all over your washcloth. Then I'm going to use Mulberry. Pretty color. Very pretty color. Everybody can wear Mulberry. So even if you're going, I would never wear eyeshadow that dark. It's okay. You would still love Mulberry. So where I'm going to put the Mulberry, I'm going to put the Mulberry right there at the top. I'm going to take this. I'm actually going to just blend it right there on the top. And that Mulberry is a very pretty color. And it will actually go with any skin type and skin tone. So no matter what you're wearing, you can wear mulberry. Now I'm going to do eyeliner. Now my eyeliner, we have a liquid eyeliner that's smudge proof. And I love to make my wing out of that. I'm going to use the Onyx. This is another eyeshadow. Will not budge or smudge. When you open the eyeshadows, they have a lot on there. Especially when they're brand new. You just wipe a little bit off. You see how the applicator looks? It has an angle. Okay, so... Turn it upside down if you want to make eyeliner. It's the same thing you do with our lip scents. If you want to make lip liner, you turn it upside down. Or you can buy the eyeliners because we have those. They are the lip liners. Okay, now all you do is just, well, you can start over here if you want to wing. Now, I am actually, I get more people who ask me, how do you do that? How do I do it so easy? It's a cream to powder eyeshadow. It goes on in a cream. So now I did it. Now I did feel myself touching my eyelashes because I don't want to have a white line. So I have it perfectly on there. Okay, now I'm going to do the bottom. So what you're going to do, if you want to connect it, just start there with it. Now look at that. There was enough product on there that I didn't have to re-dip this. I'm going to make mine thick. Take my finger, roll it up. You can get it more thin by doing that. You can do that, and you just made a little small wing. So there, that is um, the Onyx eyeliner. Now, if you are a lady and you love eyeliner, or you've had it tattooed on, which I have had mine tattooed on, okay? Do you see that I have a tiny bit left? I've had it done five times. It has been about 10 years since I did it, but I had it five times in two years because they never got it thick enough, as you can see. Plus... I have my lips lined. Now, I have a scar. You see that white scar? All the way across the top of my lip because I let somebody permanently tattoo my lip liner that ex knew exactly what she was doing. Not that she meant to scar my lip, but there's no color there. So my lip, my lip scents that I'm gonna use today, I'm gonna use two of my favorite colors, which is Fire and Ice and Rose Ice. So I'm going to shake these two up at the same time. Now I told you a while ago about the angle. 
on the applicator, on the applicator. So here is the, the applicator for the lip sense for you to press and go out on your lips. But when you want to make lip liner out of this, turn it upside down. Draw it on. Uh, the scar, and the reason I have the scar is because it didn't take the color. Was I going back? <laughs> no. Mm -mm. And the lady had been doing it for years. Okay. So now I just line my lips with fire and ice. I don't have to carry lip liner in my purse because it's not going to come off all day. Now I'm going to use rose ice to fill my lips in. Now see your lip liner will make your lips look even bigger. So you're using the flat part of the applicator. You press and glide. Across, cover your lips. That's one coat. So I just did one coat of lips, and it dries so fast. Okay, so once it's dry, do a second coat, and you let it dry a few seconds. Doesn't take long at all. And you do a third coat. Now that fire and ice that I use is my number one selling color. People use it, you know, I use it a lot of days if I want um, just color on my lips because it's a neutral color, it's not pink or red. So it's a great color if you're thinking, I don't know what color to get, fire and ice, everybody loves it. That's the one I use for the lip liner. It's not red and it's not pink, it's just neutral. So then rose ice is the really light pink color. I'll show you on the back of my hand so you can kind of see what it looks like. Now it changes the color because I did the liner. So if you just wanted the light pink rose ice, that's what it looks like. Okay, right there. So three coats of that, it just gets darker pink. It's pretty. Okay, so I'm letting my lips are dry now. Yeah, they're dry. I'm gonna put some gloss. This is the glitter gloss. And really you should use the regular gloss first and then the glitter. This just happens to be the one that I grabbed. Now, my lip gloss applicator is still clean, except for just a tiny bit, because it maybe wasn't dry all the way. Rub your lips together. No lipstick. And I'm going to show you my eyelashes. Because sometimes I just talk about the eyelashes and I don't show you how to do it. I'm going to use an eyelash curler. Okay, now I could actually take a blow dryer and heat this up if I had time, but I don't. I could, I'm going to actually curl my eyelashes. Now what I do on mine is I curl them. Get as close as you can. Okay, now you can see mine, but you're really fixing to see them because I'm fixing to turn them gray. Hmm. Okay, gray eyelashes. This is under sense. This is actually builds up little tubes of volcanic ash around your eyelashes, which makes them very thick and fat. This contains no fibers, thank God, because fiber eyelashes, if you're putting them on fiber mascara, it will flake off, which if you've already used it, you already know I'm telling you the truth, and it can scratch your cornea of your eye, especially if you have contacts, and cause permanent damage, and that's why we don't sell fiber mascara. Okay, we sell this. This is called under sense. Like I said, it's made out of volcanic ash and it's making my eyelashes get fat and full. It's going to protect them from breaking. So I bet most of you that have mascara can probably open your mascara up it, and there's probably some eyelashes sticking in there. Go home and do your mascara and go, oh my god, there's eyelashes in there. Why? Because mascara, regular mascara, can dry your eyelashes out, cause them to be brittle and they break. Now, I just curled mine a lot. You saw me do it. So none of mine broke. They're not breaking. They're not coming off. So I'm going to do my lash sense. Now, regular mascara was actually an eyeliner started back in Cleopatra's days. 
she wore bat poop. How do you like that? She wore bat poop on her eyes because it was pitch black and it lasted. And most all mascaras have that in there. Ours does not. I only know of one other company that sells mascara, which I've never tried when I'm not because I'm in love with the one I have. Um, but they don't have, well, there's an, one other one that does not have bat poop in their mascara. Um, so you're looking at a product here that's actually built my eyelashes fat thick. There's no animal byproducts in it. It's not going to flake. I can promise you, guarantee you 100%. Double your money back on this. I will double your money back on this. If you buy this and it flakes, our budges, our smudges, because I'm telling you, it won't. Neither will the eyeshadows, and they will not crease. So, you put your mascara on, and I'm not even looking in a mirror. It's sort of hard, because I'm really looking at the iPad. But anyway, it's a great mascara. Now, look at the difference in my two eyes. Oh. Oh. Okay, I have not done one thing. If you watch my videos often, you already know what it is. It's the eyebrow. Eyebrows are big right now. So you shake the eyebrow up. This is called Brow Sense. And I'm going to do tote because look at all these different color stripes in my hair. I could do any color I wanted. But what I'm doing is I am just filling in. Actually, on Good Morning America yesterday, I saw the tip end of this of where they were talking about how big eyebrows are. They're even opening eyebrow bars to where they fill people's eyebrows in. So you don't want sparse eyebrows. And even if you have not had time to go get them waxed, you can fill them in and even make them look like they're perfectly arched. Because what you just did is you filled it in with the color. And then you take the other side of it and then you brush the eyebrow down. And it just shapes your eyebrow. Perfect. It is actually a waterproof eyebrow gel. So we see a difference. Mm. It looks like I just woke up. The eye. So look at the eye. What's the difference? And then look at this one. So which one looks better? So if you haven't tried the products, you want to do that. You want to place an order. If you want to have a if you have a question, you can email me at Lisa Johnson at BuyYouBeautyQueens.com. Uh, you can place an order off my website and um, let me know how you like it. Thank you.